Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q2 of the uh, bi weekly contest 134 maximum points after enemy battles. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. So, this one was the first problem that I did, and it there was like a two, three minute um, delay just because. Um, the server was having issues loading, and I usually do them in, in order from Q1 to Q4, um, especially the bi-weekly, because honestly, uh, I uh, uh, I wake up kind of by doing the easy problems, and then just kind of, you know, wake up my brain and warm up a little bit. Uh, and I guess I'm, I'm a little bit out of that order, and that's why. Uh, particularly for this one, because it's a reading problem. And when I say it's a reading problem, is because, uh, because I think... It, this is a pretty obvious uh, greedy solution if you read it correctly, but I like I, didn't, I wasn't able to read it correctly um, because it's a really awkward problem because you get to um, consume an enemy's energy without using a point. So th that's the, basically the interaction, right? Is because you don't spend a point by. Um, yeah, I mean, I think this is the part that I got, got confused during the contest is that um, you have this energy thing, you gain one point, but it is, you have to choose an unmarked person, uh, but you don't make it mark. That's the part that I got confused about. I thought that once you, you know, use the person, you could unmark them. I mean, this is actually in the example, but it's just that I had so much trouble understanding why. I had to like read for this text and you know, I mean maybe example two would have been obvious more, but I don't know, like I said, I just woke up. Uh, the second part is that you don't decrease points. So if you have one point, you could get energy, but you don't decrease the points, but you do mark them. So it's a little bit weird. It is very p particular. I don't understand it. I, I don't understand the logic behind this problem because um, they kind of try to dress it up with these enemy energies and battles, but but the the battle rules don't make any sense for any reason that I understand. Like why why does one point you know? So at this point, it is just really weird and confusing in a way. But um, in any case, after you read for that and took a while for me to actually did, um, then it becomes apparent that the greedy works. The greedy is that. If you could get one point, if you could get points for uh, having an unmarked enemy, then you always want to have this enemy be the one that costs the fewest energy, right? Um, ideally, and that makes sense because if you could, we have two people, uh, two enemies. Uh, one gives you two, one gives you three. Of course, you want to use the one that takes uh, two energy, right? Um, and then at this equivalently, almost almost oppositely, which makes the greedy a little bit easier to figure out, is that to get energy and you consume them because it gets marked, um, you want to, if two enemies are the same, you want to take the enemy of the higher energy to get to give you more energy to mark them, right? So in that way, it just becomes very um, standard greedy. Um, and I don't... Cause I, I used the new UI, so so I think that's why it doesn't copy it through. But um, but yeah, so that's basically the way that I do it. Is that um, if you cannot, so after sorting, if you cannot, you if you don't even have energy for the first person, then you just return zero because you don't have energy for anybody. After other than that, you just consume every other people's energy and then just figure out how many times you can. Um, shoot or what? I don't. They don't even have an action for this because it doesn't make any sense. I, I say shoot, but you know it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, how many times you could use Operation One on the first enemy? And that's basically it. Uh, this is gonna be analog again because of the sorting. And I did get a wrong answer um, on this problem just because, like I said, I was waking up and for some reason I didn't think to look at the constraints, so I just did a simulation. Uh, and the reason why I did a simulation, also honestly, is because. Um, I misread the problem because um, I misread this one. I thought that in using this uh, in Operation One, um, you would mark the enemy, and because and be, if you mark the enemy, then this code makes more sense because 
And and also the reason why I didn't look at the constraints is because then in this way, this code runs in n log n time, and then this loop will be O of n, uh, and and yeah, and you know I don't have to look at constraints because this is O of n and n log n. But as a result of this not needing a mark, and also if you actually watch me, I actually had this point minus one here as well, um, because that's how I thought you have to actually spend a point to do the operation too. Um, yeah, and as a result, I didn't look at constraints because I thought this would work, because it would work for that problem. Uh, but as a result, uh, I just kind of made the changes to fit this problem, and then I just forgot to look at the constraints afterwards. And then after that, I'm like, okay, let me reset, and then I just wrote it this way. But yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. Like I said, n log n, uh, o of one space, and yeah, uh, and yeah, I didn't even use the points actually. And it, new UI is terrible, but uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and you could watch me solve it live next, and you'll see why I got the wrong end, uh, the time limit because I. I think I did the classic thing of just modifying the existing um, code instead of rethinking the constraints. Um, I just kind of, uh, I think some, some part of it is just because this was the first problem and I just woke up. You could see me like still rubbing my eyes a lot during the, in the, the thing. But anyway, you could watch all that next. All right, let's look at Q2. Oh, there's the timer on top. That's actually useful. Let's go to Q2. I am. I, I didn't even read it. Q3. Enemy energy. To, um, zero on multiple time. Unmark enemy. Okay. You gain one point. I don't know if this is going to even run. Yeah, it's not even loading. I don't even know if this is going to run, so whatever. What to one at a time? This is such a crappy UI. Like, I have to look at each one now. Oh. That's silly.
Oh, you don't want this. Should I even submit? Like, like, is this just chaos? Five minutes I haven't been able to. Uh, uh, okay. That's just me not being awake, though. It's not even the server issue. Maybe a little bit, maybe a couple minutes. Okay. What? Why is this wrong? This UI is so. I, I'm trying to figure out how to, like. Five. I'll put one. Why am I one? So two. So confused. One, two, three, three. Three, This poem is so stupid. It, like I think I'm just not reading it correctly, but Oh, I'm gonna time out because I didn't even read this. I am not a smart boy today. Um Man, what am I doing, Larry? I I am not reading it. I wonder if it's going to count, but it, it should for me because I am sucking. But okay, focus, focus. You just misread the farm for so long. Okay, so you saw it, right? So. obvious thing but I, I don't know not my I hate this in the face. Uh, all right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem, this contest, everything in between. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.